Hello and welcome to this deployment sessions video on Windows 8 apps with me, Simon May. In this session, we're going to connect Configuration Manager 2012 Service Pack 1 to Windows Intune so that we can enable mobile device management, and that's going to include devices such as Windows RT. First, we're going to take a look at the architecture that we're going to be deploying. We've already seen that we have a Configuration Manager environment set up and that that configuration manager environment is talking to our Active Directory domain controllers. In addition to that environment, we're now going to connect our configuration manager environment up to Windows Intune. And alongside that, to make things run more smoothly, we're also going to deploy a dirsync or a directory sync server. That's going to take some information from Active Directory and pass it into Windows Intune. That information is going to include things like our user accounts. Obviously, those user accounts are also known to our configuration manager server. And what that means is that we can take a on-premises Active Directory user and assign them applications through configuration manager and also have them connect those applications to any cloud connected devices connected to our Windows Intune tenant. Configuration Manager obviously knows about the applications that we want to deploy out to our Windows RT devices. So that's going to pass the information about those applications to Windows Intune. It could be a side-loaded or a deep-linked application. Along comes our Windows RT device and our users are going to log on with their Active Directory credentials into our Windows Intune tenant. That is then going to marry up the information about the applications that are available to them along with the available applications and they'll be able to have those installed onto their device. This is quite a complicated video and there's lots going on here so please take a look at this blog post to see a more detailed hands-on approach for creating this environment. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is get our Active Directory ready. Here you'll see that I'm logged on to my Active Directory domain controller and I've just gone into Active Directory Domains and Trusts, gone into Properties for the Directory, just to take a look at what UPNs are available uh, to my directory users. I've added in a UPN which is publicly available on the internet. I've then gone into uh, the ADAC, the Active Directory Administrative Center, and I'm looking for one of my users. I'm gonna find her user account and make sure that her UPN suffix is set to the same thing that I'm using publicly that fake url.info that you saw a little bit earlier on. Here we can see that she's currently set to Contoso, so we'll chat her over to fake url.info and click OK. Now that we've done that, we need to set the Windows Intune subscription up within Configuration Manager. So here I am in Configuration Manager. I'm going to go down to the Administration Workspace uh, go to the hierarchy configuration and select Windows Intune subscriptions and then from the ribbon create Windows Intune subscriptions. I'm going to read the information provided to me here and select next and then I can choose whether I want to uh, create a new subscription or sign into an existing one. If I sign into an existing subscription you do need to be aware that having done that you'll be taking the ownership of that subscription over to your configuration manager environment. So in this case, I'm going to go and set up a new subscription. I'll just load the page, fill out the form for the, uh, for the 25 user trial, and uh, then that will set up a new account for me. I've already done that to save some time in this video, so I'll just sign in to that particular account. Okay, now that I've done that, the subscription window is just going to vanish, and I just need to tick the box that we see there in the middle of the screen. Allow the Configuration Manager console to manage this subscription. And then we'll tap the button there to move on to the next page of the wizard. We then need to provide a collection that is allowed to enroll devices into our Windows Intune subscription. So in this case, I'm going to go and select my All Users collection. I might want to tie that down a little bit later to a more specific collection that just has the right kind of users in there. But for now, all users is going to be good for my purposes. I'm then going to provide my company name 
and I'm going to change the uh, the color that we're going to see within the company portal to be something a little bit more leery so that we definitely know that the changes have happened and then finally I'm going to select the config manager site code that's going to be associated with this Intune account I'll then click next again and select any of the platforms that I want to use with Windows Intune in this case I'm just going to select Windows RT and we'll hit next again then I can provide my code signing certificate this is the certificate that we're going to push down to any of the enrolled Windows RT devices that will allow us to publish applications that we've signed with our internal code signing certificate. Normally you'll have obtained this from your enterprise CA. And having correctly selected my certificate, I'm now going to add in some enterprise side loading keys. You can obtain these from your volume licensing uh, partner and or from the volume licensing portal. These keys allow you to sideload applications onto a Windows RT device and without one of these keys you'll be unable to actually get applications to install in a sideloading way. You'll still be able to install applications though if they come from the Windows Store. We'll click OK to add those keys in. Obviously I could add in as many keys as I needed to at this point. I'll select Next and then move through the wizard through to the summary screen and that will have created our subscription and also connected that subscription into our Configuration Manager 2012 environment. Let's go and have a quick look at the properties of the subscription we've just created and here you can see everything about the portal. Here we can see the, uh, the properties for connecting Android, iOS and those Windows RT devices and obviously any Windows phone devices as well. We can at any point in time change the subscription properties. The next step is to connect our Active Directory up to Windows Azure by building our Active Directory uh, Dersync server. So in order to do that you'll see that I'm on the Windows Intune uh, account portal just here and the first thing I'm going to do is go to domains on the, uh, the left hand side panel. I'm going to add in the domain that I'm using on the public internet to connect my devices in. That domain in this case is fakeurl.info. Uh, please don't use that same domain. I do actually own that, uh, that particular domain and uh, it is also a registered limited company. I'm going to hit next to move through that and it's going to give me a text record. I now need to go to my public domain name registrar and enter this text record within my DNS uh, environment on my uh, domain name registrar. That will allow me to verify my ownership of that domain name. We'll hit verify just here. Fake URL has been added to my account. Excellent. Okay, now we can start to move on. I'm going to go back to the account portal again. And this time I'm going to go to users. And I'm now going to select that I want to start Active Directory synchronization. So we hit setup. And you can see it gives me these uh, various steps to move through to allow access to Active Directory. I'm going to go straight to step three and activate the Active Directory synchronization. And once I've done that, I can now go and download the bits to install Dersync onto this particular server. I've actually already done that, so I'm going to go and minimize my Internet Explorer window and start the Dersync configuration wizard. Really simple wizard in order to get things set up here. The first thing obviously is a summary screen to let me know what's going on, but then I'm going to enter the username and password for the uh, administrator of my Windows Intune tenant or my Windows Intune account. And then we'll hit next and go and enter the details that we need to log on to Active Directory. In this case, I'm going to use my Active Directory um, domain administrator credentials. Probably not best practice to go and use those same credentials in order to do this. Please go and seek out the best practice information uh, for directory synchronization. There's loads of that information within the TechNet library. Then I can say whether I'm going to use, do anything to do with uh, Exchange Hybrid Deployment. I'm not in this case, so we'll just say Next. That's going to configure the directory synchronization components. And when that's finished, we're then going to actually have to start the synchronization process. So we'll click Next. And the synchronization process will be started when we click on the Finish button. 
I then need to go away and verify that things have happened. So I'm going to go back to my Windows Intune account portal again. And from here, I'm going to go up to the uh, users section. And I've actually waited a few minutes here. We've chopped that out of the video. And I'm just going to refresh this particular page. That will then give me a list of all of the users that have been imported from my Active Directory. So we now need to enable our end users to be able to use Windows Intune. I'm going to go back to the account portal. I'm going to select my Alice user account and make sure that she's a member of the Windows Intune group. She's also already a member of the All Users group, which, if you'll remember, is allowed to enroll devices within Windows Intune through our Configuration Manager environment. We'll just hit Save to make her a member of that group. Now we need to add our Windows Intune Site Connector Site System role into our Configuration Manager environment. So again, within the Administration Workspace, we'll go down to Site Configuration and select our, our Servers and Site Systems role node and then we can see here that the actually the manage.microsoft.com uh, server has already been added in that's the public windows intune server and we can see there's a couple of roles associated with it we're now going to add the site system role to our on-premises environment and we'll do that by starting the add site system role wizard we'll hit next and we don't have any proxy servers in place and we'll select our Windows Intune connector. Again, we'll hit next again and just move through this wizard. Very, very simple process to add in the site system role. And you can see that the role has been added. Now, finally, let's go and have a look at our Windows RT device and enroll the device with Windows Intune. Here we are on our Windows RT device, nice and pink because it's Alice. And Alice loves that color. We're going to search for company apps and we'll find that within the settings object here. We'll allow the user account uh, control elevation there. We then just type in Alice's uh, email address, alice at fakeurl.info, and type in her password as well. Obviously, those are just details that Alice will intrinsically know. That'll be something she's used to giving out on a daily basis and the kind of information that she needs to know, not specific URLs or anything complicated like that. We're then going to go and talk to the Windows Intune environment and it's going to say that we need to install the company portal. So we'll tap that link just there, open up Internet Explorer and go off to a page which will then redirect us back to the Windows Store. Within the Windows Store, it opens up to the company portal installation. We'll tap on install and go and start to download the company portal app from the Windows Store. Once the app's installed, we'll just tap on that notification toast and launch the application. This app helps us to understand what's available from any company that you're connecting into. So I might be bringing my own personal device into the office at this point in a BYOD type of scenario. I'm now going to just have to authenticate, so I'll tap the sign in button. And again, Alice is just going to enter her normal sign in information, exactly as she would normally expect to. And once we've completed this sign-in process, we'll be taken to our company's personalized portal. It'll have our company name. It'll also have our corporate colors. And as I'm signed on as Alice, I'll be able to see the devices that are available to me, the, the devices that I've actually enrolled with the Windows Intune service. I also have access to those apps that have been pushed down by my enterprise admins. In this case, the Skype app, which is available from the Windows Store. And if I tap the Windows Store link here, it'll take me directly to the Skype app in the Windows Store, and I can install that just like I normally would.
thanks very much for watching this video on connecting your config manager environment up to Windows Intune. If you want to give it a go, please go and download the evaluations for Server 2012 and for System Center 2012.